Jonas here with CR Components. I'm going to be showing you how to build the inner gear set for the Torque Hub. I'm going to start with these needle posts. And basically these hold in your posts in the cage. Now I like to basically smash these a little more together. It's kind of how they look now. And this is how we're going to want them to look is this right here. Might be a little hard to tell the difference, so we'll get a close up here in a second. If you wanna get a close up on these real quick. And uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does make it a lot easier if they are pinched in just a bit more. So I'll just take some pliers and basically just pinch them together a little bit more. And we'll set those aside for now. We'll take our washers. So each gear is going to take four washers. I'm going to grab four. I'll grab a gear. Take two washers, set them down, and put the gear right over top of them. Now I'll go ahead and take a post now, just to kind of help put the bearings in. I'll set it right in between those washers and the gear. We can start loading the gear up with bearings. I believe it is 13 bearings per gear. And I did hit the bearings with some WD-40 right before the video. Just to give them a little bit of extra lube while you're building the gear set. Not a huge deal, but it helps. But since they will be sitting in a gearbox full of oil, they should be all right. Once we get all our bearings in there, we'll take the other two washers and go ahead and place those on top. Kind of put them together and slide them right over top of that post. And what I like to do, I'll get my gear cage right here next to them. I'll slide this back a little bit and I'll pinch the washers together and take that post right out. Now, that shouldn't come apart as long as you pinch them together. We'll then take it and slide this gear right into there, like right into the gear cage. I'll kind of take my finger and line it up a little bit so it's sitting in there even. Then we'll take our post, make sure that hole is down and facing out. We'll basically just slide it right on through. It should pop right in. I'll lift this up. You're right in there, you can see your hole if it's lined up or not. If it's not, you do want to take a. You do want to take a pick, and make sure it is lined up. Mine is lined up. I do need to grab a pick though. I got one right here. You can kind of just put it in there and wiggle it back and forth, and it will line up. Then I'll take our needle post. Throw a little bit of grease on it. And just set it right on that hole. And set it straight up. You will kind of feel it sort of start dropping down into place. It's not going to go all the way down. You are going to have to smack it down. So we'll grab a punch and a hammer. Put that punch right over top of it. Right over top of it. You don't have to hit it very hard. You will see you can hit it down until it is flush. 
and our gear is in there secure. Not gonna fall out. Now we'll repeat those same steps with the next three gears. Now that you have those other gears in, this one's not gonna sit quite as straight. This is where the grease becomes much more helpful. It is gonna sit off a little bit. Try to do it a little better. Some grease on that needle post. Sit it right over that hole. That's where you're gonna want to have more steady of a hand getting it over that needle post. That first hit is the most important because after it gets in, it's much easier. We'll set this on our towel here. I'm actually gonna turn it this way. No, you guys can't see it as well, but it does. It is much easier for me. Basically, just using my wrist to hold the gear cage still while smacking that needle post. In. Just start it on to the left. Again, I'm going to use my wrist to hold the gear cage steady and smack that last needle piece down. Nice and flush. And that will be your inner gear set for the torque up.